so it's about 3.15, I woke up, and I come to the bathroom. Right away, I try to slug about, let's say, 28 ounces of water. So as you can see, my clothes are already laid out. I picked them out the night before. See, I don't have to think about it, plain and simple. So I can't be too loud only because people are still sleeping. So right now it's 3.30. So we're gonna do is work for about 15 to 20 minutes. I'm just gonna go over all the emails I got yesterday, anything I didn't respond to. Uh, I was in bed fairly early around 7.30, tried to get a good night's sleep. So I'm gonna pre-send some emails, schedule them to go out throughout the day. And then from there, I'll probably head out and then we'll make our way to the gym. Anybody who does not already have automatic start, it's a necessity. Uh, no way I'm getting in a cold car at 4 o'clock in the morning. So you'll see it's 3.58, right? Like I said, we'll leave right around 4, set ourselves up. All right, so leave your ego here. Probably one of my favorite sayings, but uh, we're walking in now. All right, it's around 4.08. So now we set up. So as you can see behind me, it's around 4.10, right? We're getting in. Um, I obviously don't have to set up, set up. As you can see, like everything's kind of done. Right, for the most part, but what I do want to do is I just want to take the vacuum. I want to go over everything. I want to go over the floors, make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, just from the night previous, I want to walk through the workout, make sure that it flows, everything runs smoothly. That way, if I need to change anything, I could do it now before anyone comes in. But I mean, yeah, so 410, we're gonna just clean up a little bit and then we'll get situated. Now it's about 4.35, right? I'd say people start coming around 4.45, 4.50 in that vicinity. Gives me about 10, 15 minutes, okay, for the time being today, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna write down kind of everything I need for Texas because I am leaving for Texas um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday every turn. So that way it gives me time to get ahead of the game. But for the most part, now I'm gonna be here. We're gonna start our morning classes, walk to the workout, which, you know, a different day eventually we'll get through. But uh, now I'm here for about the next three. Three hours later. So we just wrapped up. I taught the 5 a.m. and the 6 a.m. Typically, I normally stay and teach the 7. But because I'm going to Texas, our schedule's all messed up this week. So Jordan and I, uh, we swapped a few classes. So she's teaching the 7. So now I'm going to go head home fast. So now that I'm back, I'm actually at Vanessa's because her parents are away. So we are kind of just watching the dogs and stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go log into the computer. All right, I am going to just see and work out for the next few days. I am gonna go train. So when I train, I'm always training. Um, I do exactly what the class does, just two days prior. That way, if I don't like anything, I'm able to change it then. So today is Wednesday's chest day, so I'm gonna go hit that. So it's now 7.30, I took my pre-workout. Uh, I'm gonna go head to the clubhouse gym right next to Vanessa's house. I do get asked often why I don't take my own classes. So technically I do, right? I just do them at home. Right, there's a way to do everything that we do at the gym at home, right? And you're gonna find that out once we decide to actually launch our app, right? It's in the works, and we're hoping that first uh, day of March we're able to push it. But uh, in terms of actually training, when I'm actually in the class taking the class, the only issue is it's hard for me to separate coach and me as an individual. So when I train, obviously I need to train with some type of purpose and to actually get something out of it. So it's hard when I'm there because if I see something, obviously I have to act on it, you know, being the business owner and the trainer. So that's the only difficult part. So sometimes it is nice to get away a little bit, especially I'm there on average, I'd say 12 hours a day. So. To get a little bit of a break is nice to get away from there and kind of clear your head because in the end, like I don't want to spend every second of my day there. I need to be able to think and you know process different things and see different things. And uh, this way, when I'm here, I can break down new movements. I can change movements. I can see what works well, what I don't like, what people may not like, and you know change different times, tempos, and rhythms. But I'm gonna go ahead and hit some chest. So as you see, the clubhouse right, it's super small. Really, not a lot to it. Um, all I'm really doing today, I'm going to use this bench, use these dumbbells, and the downside is it is up to 50. Right, so typically, obviously, go heavier, but because today's workout includes a lot of volume, a lot of triple drop sets, it's, uh, the 50s will be fine. All right, so now we get started. So 
So as you see, I just finished up, right? Workout was about an hour, I'd say about five minutes. All right, it's 8.45 now. I started my watch late, unfortunately. One of my biggest pet peeves when I actually do that. But um, now I'm gonna go home real fast, or to Vanessa's. I'm gonna have two scoops of whey, right? And then we get right to my emails, right to my laptop. Just while I was training, we had about seven come across my, uh, my email. So now I'm gonna get right to it. So instead of having a whey protein shake, instead we're gonna make is our favorite smoothie bowl. And uh, we're definitely gonna record this. It's gonna be on TikTok and we will post. So definitely be sure to look at it. All right, so it's 9.30 right now. Okay, so this gives me about two and a half hours to kind of just dive into our program. So we are starting an adult transformation challenge, the 16th. So like I said, I'm going to Texas this Thursday through Sunday. So we have a lot going on and I wanna make sure everything's set in place. So in this challenge, we also are gonna give away probably about 50 to 60 easy recipes. So us doing that, what I've been doing the past two days, honestly the whole weekend, is we recorded about 80 recipes. So with the 80 recipes, now I have to go and do all the voiceovers for them. We're gonna post them all on TikTok and then our Instagram Reels, so it's easy for people to see and follow. Directly from there, I also just wanna dive into our programming, right? So that gives me, like I said, I have two and a half hours to kinda of just finish the recipe book, right? The how to cook, what you need, how many it serves, break down all the macros, and then we have to touch up on the carb cycling plan, and then on top of the carb cycling plan that we give, I have to just you know reiterate all the programming, go through it, make sure it makes sense, make sure it flows, go through our challenges. You know how I, I want to have, even though it's like a it's a thirty day challenge, give us about four weeks. So every week is going to be like an individual mini challenge, right? We have a lot of things set in play. I'm super excited for it. Um, I feel like this is going to be probably our biggest and best one in terms of how many people are going to transform, how many people are going to actually stick to it, hold themselves accountable. And what's special about this one compared to the other ones is this one, I'm gonna give you access to basically do whatever you need at home as well. So if you're someone who wants to double down, do extra, you're able to kind of pick and choose from which workouts you've done in the past and then go back and redo them in the comfort of your own home. So I'm gonna be recording myself doing a lot of them so you're, see, so you're able to see how you can kind of change something, right? Whether it's like a chest support row, I'll show you how to do it if you wanna do it at your house or you know, vice versa, whatever the movement is. So right now, I'm gonna dive into this just to about 12 o'clock. All right, so I'll see you. All right, it's 11.48, saying no, I'm not lying. All right, we just finished up. We got through three weeks of the programming, uh, second half of the uh, challenge. I'm super pumped. Tomorrow I'm actually gonna try out one of the workouts to see how it flows, see how I like it. It's gonna be a bit of a change, so I'm happy that I was able to go through it and make the adjustment. Now what I'm gonna do, just for about 15, 20 minutes, we have our podcast today, and we're filming at one o'clock, my buddy Nick. So I just wanna go over it, reiterate it, speak through it, go through the, you know, the points that I need to make during this podcast. It's only about 25, 30 minutes, nothing more. Uh, super informational, so I just wanna make sure I have everything, I'm prepared, and then I'm gonna go downstairs, grab some lunch, and then head over. So I ate my lunch, we had uh, 10 ounces of chicken with two cups of Brussels sprouts. We threw it in the air fryer, it was delicious. I did forget to record that, so I apologize, but we are at the gym now. It is 12.30, which is perfect. So now I am just gonna set up the podcast. We're gonna be filming right over there. All right, so I gotta clean up, change some things. Once Nick gets here, we will get right to it. Back so we the- just finished filming, right? We just finished <laughs> recording. He's the man behind the magic, right? He's gonna edit it up, cut it up. Now I got everybody in here. We're gonna have kids in here training till about 9 p.m. So we have to log out for a little bit. Just finished up our night classes. This is our man, Callie. What's up? Right, the legend. How you guys doing? One of the best employees in the world, it keeps this place clean, but we're setting up for tomorrow. Super simple, it's gonna be a cardio hybrid day. So it's gonna be quick, there's Jordan, us out, Colin, my man Dunleavy, everyone's in here getting it done. All right, there's the workout for tomorrow. Photo of the day's already up there, just so everyone can see. Still got a vacuum mop, try and get situated. Thankfully, we had no 8 p.m. tonight, so we are gonna be out a little bit earlier. All right, right now, as you can see, it's only 8.12, we'll probably be out here at like 8.30. So the class is set up for tomorrow. Super pumped. All right, everything looks good. All right, zones are set. Cleared to perfection. Now we gotta get ready and then we're out.
All right, so we opened this place up around 4 a.m. Now we're gonna close it down. Been here for the majority of the day. Just around 8.30, got out early today, thankfully. All right, normally I'm here until about 9.30 because we typically have an eight to nine. But like I said, I'm going to Texas this week, so I needed to get a few things done. So I did have to move them. So we will have the eight to nine tomorrow and Wednesday. And uh, now I gotta get hit home, get ready. So now we're home, right? Ness just finishing up her work day, getting ready to go to the city tomorrow. Right, what we gotta do is we just gotta sit down, we're gonna plan the day for tomorrow. Right now I'm driving her to the train, right before that I have to get my workout in, then I have to teach my classes, then I have to go to Best Buy, and from Best Buy a bunch more. But again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit down, kinda debrief, normally we just do this on the phone, but obviously like I said, I'm staying here for the time being. Right, obviously tomorrow she goes back, so tomorrow I go back home. We just debrief, we break it down, we go through it, talk about what we gotta do tomorrow, our game plan, go from there. So we just finished up, right? Vanessa is getting ready for work tomorrow. It's around 9.30 right now, if you can see. You can see our camera just died, unfortunately. All right, so again, this is our checklist, things that we need to get done tonight. We wanna focus on tomorrow, and uh, now we gotta get ready. So that's it for the day. That was a full day in the life of exactly what we do and exactly what I do. And we try to get to bed roughly around 10.15, 10.30. And then tomorrow we'll kick start, redo it.